senores y senoras, and welcome back to this short video on a thing called Central Conflict. And I'm doing this video for the people of Group B who won't be here on Monday, or at least not at my English class on Monday, but have to read the first story taken from the book, uh, Stories from the Black Experience at Home, and to find the Central Conflict. And yeah, that's why I'm here. I want to give some assistance here. You need to know that we differentiate between uh, internal conflicts and external conflicts. Um, <laughs> internal conflict here, this is actually quite simple, is the conflict within the character. It's the character's internal struggle with, for example, emotions such as fear, or hatred, or intimacy, abandonment, jealousy, whatever. And on the other hand, we have um, the external conflict. Jesus. The external conflict, uh, which means, um, yeah, the, the conflict is an outside force. It can be another human being, it can be society itself, it's can be technology, for example, nature, catastrophes, or even the supernatural. And there's always an interplay between those two different conflicts, the external and the internal one. Okay, you need to be careful because when you read the story, you will find a lot of tiny minor conflicts here and these are not the ones we are looking for. We are looking for the central conflict, for the underlying one, okay? Okay, um, the second part of the task is to give evidence from the text. And every time you hear this sentence or you write or uh, read the sentence, um, you should know instantly that you need to quote. And I hope you can remember the rules. If not, we do a little revision right now. Um, again, we differentiate between <laughs> between two different um, types of quoting, the direct and the indirect quote. <laughs> Wait a second, it's kind of windy here. Um, yeah, so the direct quote, this means that you um, take words, phrases, or even whole passages, one-to-one uh, -one from the text and you put it into your own text, but you need to mark this transfer, so to speak, with um, quotation marks. Um, yeah, otherwise we would call it plagiarism, and this means that you just stole um, intellectual property. So be careful here. And of course, you always need to give the lines. If you have just one line, you would put one L here and a double L when you have more lines. Um, when you want to quote indirectly, you don't need any quotation marks because you or it's a reproduction of the content using your own words. So this is not necessary. But you need to bear in mind that you have to put CF into the brackets. Um, CF means confer, which is like the German Vergleich, you know, from German lessons. Okay, so yeah, well, Godspeed and see you very, 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 very soon. Bye.